Hello everyone, it's Tracking Pat, and today's video is going to cover how to do tool setup on a DPM milling machine. Today we're using the DPM SX5, although it's the same on all of the machines for the most part. So first of all, you need to have something that you're going to use as a reference point, and I'm going to use the bottom of the quill for my reference point, okay? If you look over on the screen, I'm in the setup mode, and at the very top it's highlighted where it says not set because it's asking me to set what that reference is going to be. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reach over here and I'm just gonna jog this thing down a little bit, okay? And I think that's probably close enough to get me to where I gotta be. So I'm just gonna loosen up the quill. I'm gonna bring this down until it touches the top of the vise. And in doing so, I'm gonna hit the set key, okay? So that sets my reference, and now what I'm going to do is put each tool in and touch it off the same point in the back of the vise, and that's going to measure the length of each tool, okay? So the easiest way for me to do this, I'm just going to jog the table out of the way and start with my first tool. And I apologize, but it's going to be a little noisy. Okay, so I got my first tool in here. I'm going to bring it back over to the top of the vise. And on the control, I'm going to tell it the diameter. So this is a one inch diameter tool. And when I bring this down and touch the top of the vise, all I simply have to do is come over here and hit the set key again. So when I select set, you'll see that it has a number in here, which is an offset saying the difference from here to here. Okay. If I hit it one more time, I can tell it what type of tool this is. This is a finishing end mill. And then I'm just going to lift it back up, lock it and move it out of the way. I'm going to take this tool out like so. Put my next tool in. Jog it back over here. Tell it that this tool is a 5 ace tool. Whoops. I have to reach a little bit there just so you know. And I'm going to bring that tool down, touch it off the top. Do the same thing, hit the set key. It measures the difference in length for that tool. One more time to tell it type of tool and on to the last and final tool. So let's move out of the way one more time. I also have a 3 8 tool that I'm gonna put in here. Right? Okay, bring that tool in, jog it back over one more time. Tell it the size. Hit the set key to measure, tell it the type of tool. And now all of my tools are set, okay? So just so you understand, and this is where people get confused with this part, all I've done is set up a reference from each tool to the next tool so that if I set Z0, each tool will automatically calculate and adjust in the machine itself will actually move the head up or down accordingly. Okay, so now that my tools are set, I'm gonna go to the DRO mode. And in the DRO mode, this is the part that people make a mistake with, which is why I'm doing this video. So they're in the DRO mode. When you look at the top of the screen, it says tool number three. The reason why is because the last tool I told it anything about is this tool right here. Okay, so I'm gonna bring it over to the top of my machining surface now. And I'm gonna bring that tool down, touch the top. And in here, I'm gonna say Z absolute zero. Okay, so what I've done is I've set the top of my part with tool number three. I think everybody understands that, okay? which means if I take tool number three out and I put tool number two in and tell it it's tool number two, it's still gonna say zero on that readout, right? But if I don't move anything and I go to tool number one or tool number two, you're gonna notice that there's a number in the Z axis. That's how much the head is going to adjust to make that tool touch the same Z zero, okay? So the mistake that's generally made when people do this is one of two things. So I'm gonna point them both out. The first one is, People use the top of the surface to set up all their tools, and then when they take the part out, the reference is no longer there. So use something that's always gonna be solid. Back of the vise, top of the table, one, two, three block, tool setter, something like that. The second mistake people make is they know after they set up all their tools that the first thing they're gonna do in the run mode is use tool number one. So they put tool number one in the quill, but they don't tell the machine that they're using tool number one, and then when they touch off the top of the part and they say Z0, they've actually set Z0 for tool number three, thinking it's tool number one, and then you have a chance of crashing. However, if you use tracking and things like that, you'll, you'll find that you made that mistake before it happens. But hopefully this helps you a lot with the tool setup. I get this question all the time, so I thought it was worthwhile to make this video. And uh, stick around, we're gonna do a few more videos on some of the other basics that we need to learn. Thank you.